Namaste to one and all. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is specially for the social science teachers who are teaching 10th grade. So it is related to the syllabus of social science. 10th grade CBSE social science. These days I am getting several doubts. Uh, several educators are going on asking me the deleted portions and uh, their queries are related to the lifelines of the national economy, making a global world, a globalization lesson, which are the part of in, uh, interdisciplinary project. And uh, the most important thing I want to tell you that uh, this year the CBSE has issued three circles regarding the syllabus. There, in the latest two circles, the manufacturing industries, that lesson is mentioned. So, that is very important. Those are copy of the first circular only. They will miss this one. So, see that you should have updated. You may be having the updated syllabus. They are manufacturing industries. You have to take the manufacturing industries. And it is better to follow the latest NCRT textbook. And there also comes a doubt whether the manufacturing industries, everything should be written. Everything should be taught. Yes, the entire lesson should be taught. Or, uh, go in accordance with the latest NCR text. So this, this only I, I can tell about. As you asked me the suggestion, as you asked me the doubt here, I am trying to clear your doubts as far as possible. And uh, uh, next comes the lessons. Yes, I have written like this. Uh, yes, uh, regarding manufacturing industry geography, how to listen. And one thing regarding, uh, I have uploaded a video regarding the board costume paper in the chapters included. Like that I have uploaded one video. There also you, uh, you will get a clear idea regarding that what is mentioned in the circle is. Okay, your, the next doubt is the chapter 3 history making a global world. In green color I have written for the board exam and the black color it is meant for the interdisciplinary project. So, making of the global world to be evaluated in the board exam, subtopics 1 to 1.3, pre-modern world to congress, disease and trade. That is mentioned in for the board exam. And for the interdisciplinary project, as a part of multiple assessment, internally assess 2 to 4.4. 4.4 and that is 19th century, that is 1850 to 1914. 4.4. 1852, 1942, end of Britain Woods and the beginning of globalization. So that is for interdisciplinary approach project as it is part of multiple assessment. The children should understand what it is. That is the main thing. So for internally, internal assessment or for board exam assessment, the children should know about it. So or the, my suggestion is let the children uh, learn about it. And uh, for the interdisciplinary project, anyway, the class should be divided into different groups uh, or uh, most often the teaching learning process takes place uh, uh, other than the teacher-centric uh, uh, method. Uh, we know that we used to divide the class and different groups uh, uh, should be in interest in different topics. Let them learn and let them present it, even though it is for the interdisciplinary project. That is how you can complete the lesson. Then, Lifelines of National Economy, Chapter 7 of Geography, only map pointing to be evaluated in the board that is written there. But in the Annex 4, or interdisciplinary project as part of multiple assessment, internally assessed for 5 marks, and also written there, go through the Annex 4. Annex 4, it is written that, examine the importance of transportation for economic growth and economic development, analyze the impact of roadways and railways on the national economy, evaluate the challenges faced by roadways and railways, discuss how globalization is experienced. So, this is written in Annex 4, it means that for internal assessment, they should be prepared for. So, here also my suggestion is, ask the children to go through this and give guidance to them, let them learn and come and present it. So, they may be giving it because this is a project. As it is project, the children should find out. Assignment is what the teacher is teaching and writing homework like that. But a project is they should find out what it is. That is a difference. So, for the interdisciplinary project, let them prepare and present it in the class. Then comes the chapter 4, Globalization and the Indian Economy of Economics subject. What is factors that have enabled globalization? I told you what is green color that is for the board exam. And in the specific learning objectives of 
the topic it is written that we have to go through definition evaluation and impact on the economy explore the details of the key drivers of um, growth uh, globalization and their role in shaping uh, the uh, economic landscape in various countries so we can the global economic landscape is various countries so examine yes. so you know in the specific learning objectives it is written definition evolution impact on the economy so definitely the children should know about the impact of globalization impact of globalization so fact is that enabled globalization what is globalization more than that they should know the impact of globalization so almost it is covering the lesson and uh, yes go through more you will get something more about it examine the significance of g20 in its significance in the light of india's present role so the children should know or you have to include g20 and its significance in the light of india's present role and uh, uh, next we can see what about the globalization idp it is written and uh, is uh, the production i wrote it in green color that is written there production across the countries chinese toys on india wto the struggle for a fair globalization so that is written beneath the globalization first column of the um, space uh, this first column of the content the course content it is written so so production across the countries chinese toys in india wto the struggle for fair globalization there how you know that it is completely it is covering the full portion so that is why i was telling you please take the entire lesson then globalization experienced then in annex 4 it is written how globalization is experienced differently by different social groups is different social groups what about the uh, mr revi like a producer an entrepreneur how globalization affected to him how sushila case what about the sushila case so different social groups have been mentioned there as producers farmers uh, the unorganized sector workers like that how they have influenced so there comes the merits and demerits of globalization or the impact of globalization on the economy the connect the role of means of transportation communication the process of globalization and investigate the fact is that facilitated the growth of mnc's is yes. so as in annex 4 it is written like that and uh, annex 4 it is written like that uh, and specific learning learning objectives also it is written like that that is why i am telling you to teach the entire lesson so uh, these are the clarification you asked me this is the thing i am telling you for the safety of the teachers and the students and let the students get a full mark score full mark let the possibility is to score the full mark should not be neglected so this way uh, go through the a uh, stake the in their lesson and uh, uh, i told you the g20 is there so you have to teach the g20 also while i prepare for the interdisciplinary project uh, i have uh, taken the topic silk route to that is from history silk route i have taken to g20 and uh, what about g20 now g means group and 20 means countries uh, and 19 countries and european union were there uh, while when we uh, when uh, the submit started in india there become 21 states uh, that is india now uh, india holds that is till this november Uh, 2023 the india holds a presidency of g20 from 1st december 2022 to 30th november 2023 and 18 submit will be held will not will be 18 submit was held on uh, 9th and 10th september on 9th september african union also is uh, uh, became the member of this group of members now there are 21 and uh, the 18 the submit we held it in india that is bharat mandaba that is prakriti maidan convention center in delhi and uh, more about the uh, g20 in the next video we can see and uh, another thing is that uh, yes uh, when you are writing doubts about me uh, doubts uh, about uh, the topics uh, let me tell you and i am not in india now i reached here in usc in chicago uh, on november 7th 
so you and uh, my answer your uh, i am writing the answer for your doubts some sometimes it may be delayed that is the reason because here it is morning time early morning is about 6:30 okay thank you all i'm showing you my gratitude towards you your support uh, how much you trust me that is a very great thing for me only because of this thing i am surviving here in my special yes i don't want to say more about it thank you all thanks thanks a lot